So today I went to Michael's to buy more crystals. I do this so that I can bead them to make bracelets to try to solve my problems without actually solving my problems. Like, you know, like trying to use crystals as a way to solve my problems instead of like working through them. Just like a casual girl in her 20s, just graduated college, don't know what she's doing kind of way. What is up you guys? It's me Love Carrie, and today we are going to be talking about Sunstone. If you haven't seen my video on Sodalite, make sure to click it somewhere down below. If you are new to my channel, I go by Love Carrie, and I post videos every single week. I mostly post videos on selling random things on the internet so that I can get that cash to buy a house by the age of 25. That is my goal. But I also have a series called Spiritual Sundays. Spiritual Sunday! <laughs> where I talk about essential oils, crystals, zodiac signs, all that good kind of stuff. So if you like that, click that subscribe button as well. Today I bought some sunstone. I already beaded it as you can see. Sunstone was said to be found in 13th, 14th century in Iceland. Name that because it was said that people could find the sun with the stone through an overcast sky. Some even say that seafarers would use it to navigate in the Viking days in Iceland. <laughs> Actually, a lot of writings from churches and monasteries actually like talked about sunstone, so that's crazy. I love when crystals and stones were like used in the olden days, you know what I mean? Sunstone is also known as a good luck stone and is used actually in competitions by some people, you know, wear it on them manifest with that thing. Win your competition. Win that race, baby. Life's a race and I'm just running in it, <laughs> but I'm not running at all. I'm running to Michaels to get the crystals to, you know, fix the problems instead of running the therapy, which I should be, but. Sunstone's also known to attract fame and prosperity. I don't know why I said it like that. Helps you feel alive, gives you more vitality, gives you more energy, helps you kind of go through your day. And if you feel like sluggish during the day, which I could literally sit on the couch for hours, watch TikToks, still feel like crap, continue to sit on the couch, try to get up to get caffeine, can't do it, sits back down. If you feel like that, sunstone might be a good stone choice for you. It gets you out of like kind of a slump. Some people say it's good for depression, for sadness, um, because of the energy that it gives you. And it also just helps people be more optimistic, which, you know, everyone can use a little bit more optimism besides like some people where you're just like, shut the f up. Some physical healing properties of sunstone. I'm not sure if you believe in that kind of stuff, but some people say that sunstone helps with chronic sore throats as well as muscle or cartilage problems. Some even say it's good for the spine as well as digestion and kind of like weight maintenance, weight loss kind of area, which also is similar to sodalite because sodalite also helps boost your metabolism. Now for the chakras, baby. Sunstone is associated with the sacral chakra as well as the solar plexus chakra. Just briefly explaining what these are really quickly. If you want a whole video on that, comment down below. I'm happy to go through it. But the sacral chakra is more of like the sexual and creative energy. So if you are having issues with that, baby, no shame, no shade, no hate. Get this shoot. The solar plexus chakra is helpful for your self-esteem, kind of has to do with that depression, that sluggish, not really wanting to create, not really wanting to put in the passion for something, kind of boosts that self-esteem so that you can drive towards your passion, your goals, hit that competition, baby. I don't know. The zodiac sign of the chakras are Leo and Libra, which I am a sun sign Libra. If you were just curious, how funny, sun sign, my sun stone. My Libra, baby. A sunstone has like a yellowish, orangish, pinkish, brownish color to it. There's actually some green sunstone. Crazy, I know. This is what the sunstone looks like. As you can see, there's some that are browner, some that are a little pinker, some that are whiter, some that are more orange. Really pretty stone. It reminds me like very earthy vibes. This is the sodalite. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to go see it like I said before. Now, if you don't choose to like wear jewelry or crystals or stones with you, you can actually just get the solid stone um, on its own and meditate with it and manifest things with it. So some affirmations that you can say specifically with sunstone are, I am proud of the person that I am. Another one is I am strong and full of life. I claim my power and move beyond all of my limitations. You can also say I am a natural leader. And then lastly, you can say I am in touch with my creativity and my passion. Fix that sacral chakra, honey. That is it for explaining the sunstone. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe down below because I post 
post videos every single week. And that was my spiritual Sunday, baby. My sunstone spiritual Sunday. Eh, eh. Bad song. And I'll see you next time on Love K-Ray. Bye.